I think I'm live. I'm alive. <laughs> hi, everyone. Nikki Jacobs here and Clayton saying hi. Uh, shoot me a little note real quickly just to make sure that I do not talk to myself and that you see me and hear me well. Uh, so we can go ahead and start with the teaching. Thank you for joining in. I appreciate it. I try to be uh, right on time today. So it is five o'clock here Pacific. Let's see who is here. I can see you. Oh, no, that's you, honey. <laughs> and John. Oh, and John. Thank you, John. Thank you. So uh, just so you know, John, today I was, uh, Clayton was trying for 20 minutes to help me pronounce your name right. <laughs> because I can't quite uh, pronounce the difference between John and, and J-O-H-N and J-O-A-N. So anyway, that was quite funny. So, but you know, when I mean John, I mean you. So uh, anyway, thank you for telling me you can see me and thank you everyone, I appreciate it. Uh, today, a little bit uh, of a um, heavy topic, if you will. Unfortunately, quite a realistic topic, uh, more realistic than previously. Hi, Michelle, I love you too, honey. So a little bit more realistic uh, uh, than previous years, meaning that in my work today, I come across more and more uh, 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 devastated families of... Uh, uh, of suicide, uh, suicide uh, 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 people. So uh, mainly, I mean, I did that that subject, the topic in the in the uh, in the past. But mainly, I wanted to do that because more and more people or family that I come across that losing people to suicide, specifically kids, unfortunately, uh, kind of want to kill themselves so they can be with their loved one. So I thought I would cover that sad concept and kind of talk about uh, um, uh, common questions that people ask me over the year when it's come to suicide and our spiritual path, our soul path on planet Earth, and, and how is it kind of blend in the spiritual path, what's happened with suicide uh, in the bigger perspective of the soul uh, evolution. So I wanted to touch it. So it is a good information to know just to contribute to your spiritual awareness as well as obviously uh, if you know someone that uh, lost someone to suicide or God forbid will know someone in the future uh, uh, so you kind of know how to act and what to say and you know the, you will know the concept uh, of suicide from a little bit more deeper perspective the perspective of course of the soul so right off the bat I would go to the main question, and of course, as always, go ahead and shoot me a note or a, a question, or if you do not understand my teaching, I can repeat certain things, and I'm going to try and kind of observe the chat. So right off the bat, the main question that people ask me, <laughs> I can see you, honey. The main question that people ask me is if a suicide is sometimes a part of the soul plan because remember my teaching that every big event is indeed pre-designed by our soul and although we're not machines obviously by our free will by our choices things change nonetheless the main event more specifically as to uh, the the part of the globe that we incarnate into the family parents siblings significant life partner which of course refer to soul mates which whom we have soul contract with and um, as well as our personality the body strength and weakness that's what i mean by the main event and the main character or game players in each specific incarnation they're of course designed by our soul prior to enter planet earth and then as to what we do with the main event, of course, it's up to us uh, um, to make things work or not go work or grow. So people ask me if sometime can, can a soul uh, uh, decide to include suicide within the length of the incarnation or the life on earth in whatever age there is. And my answer to that is no, of course not. Because if a suicide would, if a soul, our human soul, if a soul would include to exit planet Earth prematurely, meaning in a young age, 
that would not refer to a suicide, of course, that just simply refer to follow up what it is the soul pre-designed uh, um, for whatever reason. Obviously, there are many reasons as to why we would exit planet Earth early or in a young age. Uh, um, uh, some of the reason can be simply the, the, the lesson have been done already, a karma balance, so there's a lot of reason, but nonetheless, the phrase suicide refer to A, this is the act of the ego, of the personality, the soul certainly does not involve actually uh, uh, the whole sad thing of the suicide concept is of course, once the person make a decision to exit or bail out or exit planet Earth, the soul is supposed to continue life. So a, 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 suicide, a suicide is an act that uh, um, um, being inflicted by the ego or the, the personality for whatever reason, legitimate or not legitimate, obviously, uh, uh, which I'll explain in a minute what that means, but no, the soul is not involved. So if someone leave early planet Earth and there is, and they come to me and they use the phrase, you know, maybe the soul planet, Anything that is pre-planned by the soul is obviously called a plan. So no, that's not a suicide at all. So I don't know why that question kind of repeat over the years, uh, specifically from a family member of people that lost people to suicide. Uh, uh, perhaps it's kind of a self-defense mechanism to know maybe there is other reason as to why my child or the person that I love decided to, uh, to end their life and once again, to, to sum that specific uh, big topic, a big question, when it's come to someone killing the self, no, it's not designed by the soul, of course. Uh, actually, a suicide is the biggest disappointment of the soul, of course, because as you can recall from previous teaching and previous webinars, when I used to explain how long and uh, uh, take us, us, the souls, uh, uh, to plan a new incarnation, how long it takes to include all the lessons and the karma that need to be balanced and the weaknesses that we brought from previous lives. So it's a detail-oriented event uh, to, to, to uh, um, a very uh, uh, thought, uh, a lot of uh, planning include into um, a plan, um, um, creating a new life. So uh, therefore, the soul is hoping, obviously, that the personality which whom the soul count on is Mickey, the personality. Obviously, the soul, the higher self within a body, cannot do much without, uh, uh, without me, without the personality. So if the personality or ego and mind, which were its originate, obviously, as to the act itself, decide to cut the life short, that's go against all the preparation, all the planning that the soul, all the effort that the soul put into planning the life uh, uh, alongside uh, um, actually spirit guides and some other light being that helping us for like kind of advice and guidance. So it take us as well as a lot of other group of spirits to plan the incarnation and once it cut short, once the soul exit the body without its planning, then obviously you don't. You can imagine as to the disappointed uh, uh, that the life cut short that otherwise should have been meant to continue. Another uh, um, uh, um, um, popular, mm, popular. Another uh, common, common question that people ask me is there is any, uh, uh, is there is ever, obviously from perspective of spirit, uh, is there ever legitimacy for someone to take, to take their life off? So obviously that's kind of a difficult uh, 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 question for spirit to answer when I relate the question to them over the years. And from their perspective, not from the individual or the reasons themselves, from a spiritual perspective, certainly from the person's soul perspective, it's never ever legitimate to cut the life short, never. Because even when they answer me, sometimes when I ask spirits as to uh, my own information or people ask me to relate question uh, for the sake of teaching other, and obviously you have to remember that their perspective is different. Obviously they are in the spirit world, their perspective of life after death is different, obviously. So even for that technicality, then of course, 
from their perspective, no, stay there and make things work, of course, which that's what's their purpose of our team in spirit is to kind of keep us uh, um, uh, grounded and continue life on planet Earth. So from their perspective, from spirit perspective, from the channeling that I gather over the years, it's never, there is never legitimacy of the Cut the Life show because the whole point as to why we are here is to face challenges, to overcome fear, to conquer challenges uh, and difficulties, no matter how difficult they are. Because once again, from a spiritual perspective, uh, uh, facing the challenges, working on them, and hopefully rising above, above them or overcome them, that's essentially why we're here. We're here in order to face the channel challenges, whatever thrown our way, whenever uh, challenges thrown our way, and use it for growth. So naturally, it's common sense that if a person take the easy way out, and I don't want you to take it the wrong way, because I have enough experience to work with family uh, and with the soul themselves that come forward in readings, uh, um, as to the reason that they cut the life short. And some of the reasons that appear to us on planet Earth are indeed very much legitimate, meaning souls often come forward in reading and say just, they just could not take it anymore for whatever reason. Suffering of the mind, of the physical body, do not see hope. So the main common reason as to why uh, uh, mostly people would cut their life short is of course not to see any hope. So for the person or the personality, of course it's legitimate. So when I use the phrase taking the, the shortcut out or taking the easy way out, I am referring to, of course, the spiritual perspective, which what matter, of course, it's only what matter, because once again, this is a, a, I'm a spiritual teacher, obviously, Perhaps if a person would go to therapy and the therapy would talk to the, to the patient from the perspective of planet Earth, then they would try to talk how they feel and maybe give medication and try the, 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 to, to ease the pain of the mind and talk to them, obviously, through the therapy. But from perspective of what we're doing here on planet Earth, from the perspective of uh, uh, taking the easy way out and living life, it is never, ever an option as far as spirits are concerned. And frankly, over the years, within a reading, when a suicide soul come forward, the moment the soul exit the body, it's almost like it foreseen, which of course, once we cross over, we see the bigger picture, that things are not as bad as we thought they are on planet Earth. So again, it's easy said and done when we are already there back home. The perspective is different, of course, as opposed to being here. Let me see a couple of friends. Suicide. Hold on, Jojo. No, I know. Suicide buried. Oh, Jojo. Thank you, honey. You know, uh, I was ready actually to touch the different religion perspective of suicide. And uh, Jojo really would bring that forward. So I'm going to touch that in a minute. I appreciate that, honey. Uh, specifically the Judaism. I'm not quite familiar with uh, how the Christianity, are you familiar, honey? How Christianity look at suicide? I'm not really familiar it's if one same. of you, the same, really? Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> Oh, it's a sin. Ooh. Okay, so because I know obviously from my religion, from the Judaism, not only it's a sin, the, the people that kill themselves are actually being buried outside the cemetery. So I know growing up in Israel, of course, where we would go to bury grandparents or go to the cemetery. So you have a section in the cemetery of the people that kill themselves. And it's kind of sad because they don't tend to that portion of the cemetery, meaning the cemetery itself within the gay, within the fence, all the legitimate people that kill themselves, ridiculous, obviously you can see that that didn't kill themselves, you can see by my, my, um, my attitude, then it's all nice and clean, and then you have that, that section of people that kill themselves because from a perspective of Judaism, it is a sin. So again, I'm not familiar with Christianity, the Catholic. Same. Just uh, not in the cemetery, but they treat it as a sin. Yes, yeah, so they also, Clayton here is saying that they do still treat it as a sin. So Judaism appear to take it one, <laughs> one level they out. The body and the soul. Yeah, so <laughs> they force the body and the soul to be out, which is of course, of course, 
is ridiculous. There, it's not a sin. Although what I'm teaching you today, it's indeed the, the disappointment of the soul. But spirits often teach me to teach others that it is never, never an option to cut the life show because life's supposed to continue for whatever years we sign for. And our soul is wise enough to know when the life's supposed to naturally stop. Because when we exit planet Earth, indeed, is designed by the soul once again. So it's never, ever an option. So, but if it's happened, it's not a sin. It just the personality could not take it anymore. So again, that's why I didn't want you to think that it is a, a me saying, don't take the short way out is a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. That person going to have to have to repeat the same type of a lifetime again and plan so all the planning that was put into the incarnation or the lifetime that was cut short gonna have to repeat identically again because essentially the life did not continue and all the lesson all the potential lesson that were there cut short obviously so it's need to repeat again now why is that bad by the soul because we don't want to do that. We don't want to repeat. We want to move forward. Remember by previous teaching that the only reason we hear is to kind of continue to climb up, continue to use planet Earth as a way of growth by experiences, good, bad, happy, sad. So if we kind of cut the life short, the soul essentially like, oh my God, now I have to repeat all again. So what's happened with the suicide from a perspective of the soul overall as evolution, it's a major, major setback, major setback, as if it's a one step forward entering planet Earth and turn back because then you have to kind of do it again. So again, you know, when we hear specifically when things are good, I see a lot of people and they're like, so, well, but we, we should take in consideration the spiritual aspect because again, this is a spiritual teaching and not a therapy, so you should think about it or if you know someone uh, uh, threatened to kill themselves. So if they're somewhat spiritual, you should touch those topics. As for the religion, it's ridiculous, like every other thing. <laughs> I mean, it's not a sin. There is no God waiting for the soul when it's exit the body, then they're going right to some sort of a hell or I don't know what they're coming up with. So it is ridiculous as a matter of fact souls of a suicide people because it's such a a tragic event to the to the soul uh, obviously there's no death the, the soul continue but it is so tragic and a time depending on the suicide act because sometimes people don't die right away whether if if they take pills unfortunately a lot of time i tuning into soul that were trying to shoot themselves and the last minute they kind of changed their mind so the, the gun went down so they needed to suffer until they actually cross over so what i'm saying is not to make you say it but rather to understand that it's a very tragic very shocking event to the soul so that led me to teach you that once the soul exit and spirits come forward our spirit guides angels coming forward once spirits come forward to greet the soul and obviously they realize it is a suicide soul then they accompany soul to what i use the phrase energetically friendly dimension or planet or, or realm so they take the soul away from planet earth to energetically friendly for a R and R for healing. And what the soul does in those other kind of dimension or other places away from the density of planet Earth is review the life, see what's happened, uh, clear up the residue of the act of the suicide. So essentially, when a soul of a suicide person exits the body, not only it's not a sin, not only there are no punishment, actually they get the most love the more attention and the more understanding because the soul already disappointed what 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 are they going to do but i i don't even understand what's religion punish punish who the soul i mean it just doesn't make sense to me i'm sorry about you know it just that's one of the things that i often uh, um, 
stomach of an adversary, or he died in the heroin addiction, but I feel him, everyone, how do I cope with a strong and ah? Oh. Uh, thank you, Risa. Uh, can they read that too, Fanny? Can everyone read that? Okay, so um, uh, read what Risa said about uh, um, uh, um, I'm actually, when was that? How long ago he died? Because that's bring me also to a lot of people tell me I do not feel my loved one. And the good news is the soul is not being punished, of course, that's ridiculous. So the soul is going away from planet Earth for an hour and hour or a little more healing or additional healing because the soul of a suicide person need that. However, it's not the soul is not going through the usual process that all of us go after death meaning there is a homecoming celebration, the, and then we review the life. So there is a specific processes. I actually use the phrase after death processes that all human souls go to if indeed we exit planet Earth naturally, meaning not a suicide. So sometimes it takes a long time to actually sense a soul of a suicide loved one or get any sign from them because they are away from planet earth so risa you say that uh, uh, you feel the strong energy so that's a very good thing because again i do not know how long your friend kill uh, uh, himself but usually it's take time to actually even sense the energy I even advise people, don't call the soul forward. Leave, leave. It was, it was, oh, it would have turned, oh, honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so don't call the soul forward. Understand the concept that if, unfortunately, you know, or you lost someone to suicide, and uh, know that they kind of do their own things. They need to kind of recharge themselves, regroup, because once again, the act of the suicide is very shocking. So kind of le leave the soul alone. Uh, you can every once in a while have good memory about the soul, express love about the soul. And even the grief, obviously severe, if it's someone that you love lost to a suicide. But I often instruct people, even the grief, try to keep it under control. Because if we said here, they said there, it's energy, they sense us, obviously. So grief in general, you might want to speed it up because you want the soul to move on and kind of be happy. Specifically a suicide soul that's already energetically heavy. So that's really important. Now, at the beginning, I told you that a, a, a common thing, specifically, I have a few cases at the moment where the parents want to kill themselves, so they'll go and be with the child. It doesn't go like that. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't happen. First of all, every soul is different in a way that we come here alone, we live alone. Having said that, as souls, of course, we are all one. Unfortunately, it's only planet Earth that is so dividing and because of the ego and the, the, the seemingly different bodies and mind. But when we are in the spirit world, souls are all one. We love one each other. And the phrase, we are all one, is the absolute true phrase. But suicide is very specific as to how the soul exit the body, when the soul exit the body, how much more of a life was remain, the act itself, which why I told you sometimes it's, it's, it's very tragic, sometimes it's a little more pleasant, for lack of better word, I mean, it's never pleasant, obviously, but it's different. So when a person thinks that they would kill themselves and cross over, meaning the soul exit the body and immediately would be able to see their loved one, it's absolutely wrong. It does not happen because once the person soul exit the body, it's not a human being anymore. So that person soul, the soul would have to have its own kind of a, a, a time away from planet Earth and its own after death process of a suicide. So it doesn't happen. Beside the perspective is different. When the people are here and they say, I don't want to live without my son. I don't want to live without my daughter, Mickey. I want to go. I want to kill myself so I'll see them tomorrow. And I'm trying to explain to them when you're going to cross over, the perspective is different. You're not going to be upset because you don't see them. Eventually you will see them. You will be upset because of the act. 
because again, the perspective is different between a human being with a personality, honey, human being with a personality and a mind and that of a soul when it's exit. So no, that is never ever an option if you, God forbid, would happen to know someone uh, uh, um, uh, or come across someone, so this is never an option because it just doesn't go like that. Uh, it just doesn't. Either way, it's going to be devastated for the soul. So the best you can do as to how to overcome, obviously, grief of a suicide is like any other grief. Rely on spirituality and spirituality based on love. Spirituality is love. There are no rules, there are no uh, regular, you know, uh, uh, um, like religion, it's not rigid. There are processes, I wouldn't call it a rule, and the processes are common sense. And, 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 and uh, of course, if you cut the life short and the soul is like, I can't continue life because this is it, there's no more body, I can't use that body, obviously, then it's had to repeat again. So you can imagine the devastation and the disappointment of the soul. But there is no God. He doesn't involve which our decision, which that's what's nice about it. That's why it's called his unconditional love to us. Otherwise, how what, he going to judge one and not the other? And, uh, you know, so uh, uh, um, uh, please take that to heart. If you ever, uh, um, uh, um, you know, think of being influenced or raised up like I did or, uh, you know, Jojo here is familiar as to uh, uh, the rules or regulation, specifically negative, because they are negative about people that kill themselves. Very, very, very sad. Um, so, um, you know, a lot of people also, which kind of, this is bring me to my next point about grief in general, because people kind of don't know what to say if to bring the act of the suicide. So I have a lot of uh, work that I do with actually the family or friends of the people that lost the person as to what they say. So this is very uh, um, individual. You need to, it's not one rules kind of fit all. You need to be very sensitive and sense if the person gets suited by talking about the tragedy, obviously by working with so many people, some people want to talk about what's happened to a T. They want to talk about the details and what's happened and the note and this and you know, and some don't. So you just kind of sense what it is. You obviously don't think that if you talk with everyone and say, tell me what's happened, that everyone, some people don't want to know, don't want to think about it. It's also common sense that depends when was the suicide act, how long ago, if it's fresh, everything's more raw. So that's another thing that come, I come across uh, uh, as to what to say with people that uh, uh, grieving in general, but more specifically, the absolutely tragic uh, act of CS suicide. And you know, I, I use the, keep using the phrase tragic act because it's absolutely devastated to the family. It's, you know, my, my work as a medium, uh, I'm not, it's not designed to kind of carry the cases from reading to reading, it just, it's not, which is fascinating, which why I always remember, forget the reading. So I see someone and channel them and then I kind of move on. But suicide, it's always so tragic to me how much guilt the person leave with the family, even if they do nothing, even if the person was in another country or nothing to do with, with, with the loved one. There's always guilt there because the physical mind cannot comprehend. I mean, think about you. Would you ever think about actually harming yourself? shooting the self, hanging, taking pills, leaving the people that you love, you know what I'm saying? No, of course not. So the people that remain, the mind cannot comprehend the reason as to how can that possible, how can that happen? And therefore reflected on them immediately and a guilt which is in, 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 in every topic in life, such a heavy, heavy on the spirit that is absolutely devastate specifically once again uh, if the person that they lost is a, a, a 
child or family member or of course a close friend. So uh, beware of the guilt um, uh, if you yourself experience or you'll come across someone that experienced suicide of a loved one and how more specifically how you do that is again kind of sense if the person want to talk about it and kind of digest it. Because what I do in reading when parents come to me and they say they feel guilty and it's their fault and because of me, I kind of ask specific, how can it be, you know, kind of so the mind would register and would understand that it's not realistic because again, sometimes it's, it cannot be their fault, meaning they adult and they were, they were away. So, uh, 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 so again, be aware that guilt, which why I call it so, so tragic, obviously very, very a part of the tragic uh, uh, of suicide, really, really sad, really sad. You know that um, uh, for you, uh, Risa, um, uh, pay attention to any uh, mutual songs that you had with him, or um, um, whether it's TV or radio, uh, so that's referred to your specific friends and in general suicide spirits, again, once they kind of more or less gather their energy, uh, they tend to bring good memory that they have with us because the last thing a soul want to do is kind of drill on the act of the suicide, which why you want to try to speed up the grief. You don't want to kind of remain in the last day of the suicide or whether you, you found the body or kind of thinking about it because obviously when we think about it then the soul obviously senses it so you want to kind of move on remember good memory whether it is road trip or fun or music or concert so that's another thing what i'm trying to say is if you know someone who killed themselves or someone that that someone else then uh, uh, um, remember them by good memories that now of course that apply to to everyone that we lost because the souls in the spirit world obviously want a little bit more happiness and sadness but again because the act is so shocking then you want to make sure that you remember them uh, um, uh, in a happy memory or, or, or uh, train your mind to kind of remember good memories that you have on planet Earth and as far away as you can from the, from the act itself kind of towards the end or the end of their life. Even pictures, I always tell pictures, so, uh, you know, our loved one in the spirit world very much... Um, it's important to them the pictures we put around. <laughs> so, uh, meaning from what time of their life? Obviously, if you lost someone to suicide, not only the internal memory should be happy and positive, but also what you put out or what you wear or what you carry with you of the person. Because again, everything is energy. And if you put a picture a week before the person killed themselves, or obviously at the time where you knew that there was already internal chaos that led obviously to the suicide, they don't put it on. So either put another picture. So again, those things within speeding the grief and memories and you know physical things that you put around also would help the soul to speed forward the, 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 the suicide path after death and kind of uh, go back to, to to eventually plan another life, obviously. So that's another thing where I uh, advise people to do. Very important, very important. Um, um, you know, I, uh, uh, um, uh, a lot of people tell me that they hear loved one or again, whatever it is, family member or friend that threaten to kill themselves. And they ask me often if to take it serious, you know. So fr from my experience, there is a lot of time when people say, I don't want to be here anymore, Mickey, I'm done, you know, and use various phrases like that. And a lot of time that is indeed a venting out because planet Earth is very difficult, specifically now you open the TV and it's something new every five minutes, bad new, not good new. 
So it is harsh, and as energy being, we, we sponge the negativity of planet Earth and all the chaos. So a lot of people kind of vent out. It's also sometimes a way of um, uh, getting attention, uh, unfortunately, meaning if people would ask why, what's wrong, talk to me. So be aware of it. However, I, I can clearly tell you that there are a lot of cases where people did not believe someone that say, you know, I'm done, I'm out of here, and eventually they did. So again, this is not advice that is a, a general, but it would kind of go case by case, especially if the people are teen, kind of like going 13 all the way to maybe like 18, 19, because the mind is still a little bit fragile. So when people kind of threaten to kill themselves and it's only for attention or for venting out, or they, they, they don't mean to go to kill themselves, but obviously need some sort of a help. Because again, when we are healthy in our mind, we usually would not express something like, I want to kill, kill myself. So it should be taken serious, but it's not necessarily that that person would, do, would actually act on it. However, I come to realize that the younger the person is, I often tell people, pay a little bit more attention as to why the threat of killing the self kind of coming. Hold on. What is it? Ilona. <laughs> no, there's a claim for aunt. Oh, uh, thank you, Il Ilana. I think I'm pronouncing your name right. So murder, so for you guys, go ahead and read in the chat what Ilana was saying, uh, which is, of course, mur murder uh, 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 different than suicide, of course. Yes, murder indeed is pre-designed by the soul. Now, when I use the phrase uh, big event, that is a big event. And murder sometimes will be designed by the soul. And usually, once again, it's like any other manner of leaving planet Earth, whether it is supposedly accident, car crash, illness, and also a murder. Murder usually has to do with balancing karma, Ilana, meaning what you say, who my brother-in-law was, yeah, your brother-in-law. So uh, uh, don't look at your, don't, I'm going to teach you something, but don't think about your brother-in-law as the person, uh, the person that was here, but rather the soul. So whoever killed your brother-in-law most likely has some sort of an energy or karma that needed to be balanced by previous lifetime. Karma, once again, is a negative act that was inflicted by a personality that kind of imbalanced the soul energy that needs to be balanced back. So if a person killed someone in one life, that person need to be killed in order to balance the energy. Why is that? Because the soul, which is a pure light being, cannot have the taint of negative energy. So it's need to kind of balance it. And that's essentially the concept of karma. So why do I use the phrase sometimes? Because sometimes... <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to say on YouTube, shit happened. <laughs> I mean, it is. Accidents happen sometimes. Somet sometimes people can be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Rarely, rarely. Because usually we have a protection of our guardian angel. Usually, uh, usually things would not go south, would not go bad, whether it is an accident, car crash, as well as a murder, if there is no some sort of a spiritual aspect to it that needed to be balanced by the soul, or some sort of an agreement between the soul. So meaning, no matter how sad it is, Elana, of course it's sad, your brother-in-law got murdered, but again, look at it from a perspective of the soul that uh, things don't just happen to us. And although there are real accident, quote unquote, as I relate to it, whether it is we reckless driving, whether it is we going into a down dark alley when we know we shouldn't go there, where we ignore the inspiration of our guardian angel, don't go, don't go, don't go, and we go anywhere, then things can happen to us. But it is rare, it is rare. Uh, so, so, so let me see, hold on. Uh, 
so so once again Kathleen suicide is not a plan by the soul so therefore there is no use of a suicide for karma suicide would never be within the soul plan it's go against all the rules a murder is a car crash is an illness is, is to balance karma and balance karma i'm not just talking if one person kill another balance karma can happen if you steal an apple but obviously there's all kind of level of severity as to how much the balance need the energy need to be balanced so suicide and karma doesn't go because the suicide would not be planned by the soul to begin with so once again honey the suicide is only the abrupt decision of the ego or the personality unable to handle planet earth anymore for whatever it is reason so the soul is not involved now a lot of people also ask me where is the guardian angel of the people that kill themselves is there but you know you know by my previous teaching we have free will there is so much spirits can do there is so much our guardian angel can protect us can inspire us through intuition and gut feeling how many times we want to do something reckless and we have that gut feeling or that knowingness it doesn't feel good i shouldn't go there i shouldn't drive drunk i shouldn't do that that's not the mind the mind is stupid for the most part that's obviously the guardian angel so there's so much they can do so a person that close to suicide let me reassure you that by that point by the point of the actual act itself they had bunch bunch of spirits including their own team of spirits the guardian angel spirit guide ascended master archangels that try to inspire them don't do that don't do that try to bring messengers meaning other people to make their life easy to bring them you know go to therapy and if the bottom line decision of the person is to pull the trigger the, there's nothing the guardian angel can do because they're not allowed because either way the soul gonna grow whether indirect way or the hard way or the long way which in this case is suicide as i mentioned go one step forward and turn back or the good way the normal way face the challenges that's why if people come to me and they're depressed and you know so i said then face it do anything you want pray prayers are so powerful <laughs> prayer is so powerful you know and you do have help obviously by spirit so it's quite heartbreaking where often you know people come to me and say where was the guardian angel when my my the love my loved one took their life they were there there is nothing they can do nothing but they did already up until that point because we're not machine because free will is a tool in which we grow the good way easy way or the hard long way so there's so much they can do if we do nothing then obviously they do nothing so i hope uh, that um, i explained to you kathleen uh, uh, if not then listen to the webinar again because again because suicide is nothing to do with the soul pre-design plan it just it, it technically just just doesn't mesh suicide mean i'm just out of here when the soul otherwise supposed to continue so therefore because there's not a suicide then usually a way of balancing karma would not be through a suicide because there's no suicide hold on thank you jojo thank you either way we grow you know people tell me they ask me what i think about the election and you know all the mess that we're going to either way we grow we go either way we grow individually meaning life day to day whether we continue to face our fear rise above it whether we are fall down get up clean ourselves keep moving forward or bail out and i don't just mean suicide meaning giving up not pursuing our dream not improving relationship not improving our health just kind of giving up either way the soul gonna grow there is no no grow that's what nice, that's what lovely about that specific concept of planet Earth. You know, with my English, Kathleen, take me 10 hours to read it. <laughs> so 
the connection of the people that killed themselves, because the suicide was not planned, that's why it's so devastated, Kathleen. Because the life was continued to, to 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 was meant to continue, and the family member or the friend usually are more than happy to help the people and hopeful for the people and offer them a therapy or you know specifically parents. So when so so there is no connection again because the suicide has nothing to do with the soul plan, meaning there is no growth through the suicide. There is grow because the life gonna have to repeat again, what I'm saying. So the suicide was not planned. So therefore the people that surround, the parents, family, friends, the loved one are not connected to the suicide act. Meaning, unfortunately, their life is completely shattered as well. Which once again, why specifically I use the phrase uh, tragic when it's come to suicide, very tragic because if you look at illness, let's say, let's say the soul shows an illness as a way of exiting planet Earth, either balance karma, teach, grow. There is a lot of reason as to why us human souls at time choose illness as a way to leave planet Earth, meaning die through an illness. So that absolutely have to do with the people around the person because their souls are aware of the plan of the soul of the person that's ill there is souls no we know one one another we know all the character in our life all the the, the all the, the the people that with us so that's have a direct connection between the souls of the person that exit planet earth to the illness and the people suicide it's not it's tragic 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 because no one deserved it in, in a way it's useless it was not meant to be, yet the ego just did it. Yeah, it is indeed, Michelle. Um, um, yes, people do call suicide spirit selfish. Uh, um, uh, shouldn't, shouldn't, because for the common sense that we're not in their shoes, obviously, I, I can come again. Do you comprehend pulling a gun to your head and just leave? Well, I'm gonna leave the people I, I love so much. No, but we're not them. And when I tune into souls of suicide, and the, it's called sympathetic feeling as a medium, I'm able to kind of go through what they experience. At that moment, at that specific moment, it wasn't selfish because they couldn't take it anymore. So if you kind of break it down and just look at it in that specific moment, it, it, it wasn't selfish. Of course, the overall act is selfish, of course, because it shattered the life of the family, friends, the loved one. But at that specific moment, the person really thought that they cannot take it anymore and in a lot of cases they actually thought it's better for the family if i'll bail out i'm a hassle to them or that you know it's too much they they, they they said because of me so the word selfish although common that people call suicide people selfish not really because again a we're not in their shoes b at that moment it's not selfish it's wrongly so of course they really thought that when they cross over they're gonna remain who they are meaning get a relief you, they're not they are they're not they're not who they are anymore the person is dead that's it there's no mind there's nobody it's the soul now which have a different completely perspective of what's going on so if someone tell you I don't want to be depressed anymore. I want a relief. Therefore, I want to kill myself. Then somehow you need to explain, but it's not going to be you anymore. You will just heal the personality. It's the soul that's going to get the on end shot of the stick, if you will, which we cover as to why, you know, it's going to be delay in the overall evolution. Oh, honey. Yeah. Um, uh, 
you know, the mind is it, so, uh, can really drag us like a wild river. Now, obviously, there are many levels as to how bad the mind is, or let's call it depressed or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But uh, um, it's need constant discipline. And if someone is already somewhat fragile or weak, you need to have a war on the mind or the ego, which why all my teaching is about discipline your mind, grow spiritually. So even if life is hard, because obviously life is continue to go crazy, which why I said a few minutes ago, every five minutes there's some breaking news. So, but if your mind is someone under control, if you look at the bigger picture, that first of all, although we appear alone, we're not alone. We have a bunch of light beings and archangels that try to help us. I'm talking collectively here. So try to discipline your mind. If you realize that you are depressed, take care of yourself. Don't say, I don't believe in therapy. It's ridiculous. Of course, you need to help yourself. And really, that ego, which obviously, you know, by my teaching, I refer to the negative part of who we are. It's there and it can just drag you like a wild river. So you need to, to obviously make sure that you discipline it uh, uh, or help others that see that perhaps a little bit more fragile than you. What I'm saying is if you see yourself kind of go down, you got to lift yourself up in whatever mean it is, therapy, whatever it is, lift, lift yourself up. Uh, um, as for remaining up all the time, usually that's kind of impossible because again, we sponge the collective energy that surround the globe. So very, very few people are able to stay up all the time. But the concept the, the, uh, is, is to try to have less and less bad moment, less and less negative moment, and more and more spiritual moment, more and more uh, uh, ways for you to lift yourself up. And of course, uh, uh, um, uh, specifically, if you see someone around you, uh, as it's related to today's topic, that's kind of down. <laughs> well, I like to thank you guys. That was, I, I like it. I, I, I like that it's go back and forth. And of course, there's always a, a, a reason as to why you ask specific question, because of course, spirits govern uh, any spiritual teaching or spiritual, um, uh, you know, back and forth. And they often inspire people to, uh, uh, to come uh, forward with specific question. So remember last time I brought forward Seamus. So today I'm going to bring another child. Let me see. So that's Ladybug. <laughs> Look, we have the same hair color other than she. <laughs> uh, so that's Ladybug. And I thought I'm just going to let her say goodbye. Thank you, guys. Uh, be well and be happy. And I greatly appreciate you taking your time and learning. Thank you. Cutting herself. The uh, I'll email you the, the, the answer, Michelle, uh, if, if, you don't, if you don't mind, honey, because uh, uh, they're going to cut us short here, the webinar, and I don't want it to interfere. But thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's Ladybug. So she was rescued probably, what is it, two years ago? Yeah, we rescued her from sh the shelter uh, alongside the other, the other. But she's a... Uh, Kind of the alpha of our four dogs, a little bit uh, um, feisty. Thank you, guys. I'll talk to you next time. Watch over the newsletter as to the subject. Take care. Bye.